Hi, I'm Natasha Severino, freelance makeup artist. I'm going to demonstrate to you foundation, highlighting, contouring, and bronzing of the skin. I'm going to use Clé de Peau Radiant Fluid Foundation on Madison today to start our look. I like to apply the foundation to all areas of the face before I start working it in. There's nothing worse than getting halfway down your face once you've mixed up a color and realizing that you really needed to mix up some more product. So I generally spread it out around the face first. What you should be using is a stippling motion because what you want to do is press the foundation into the skin and into the areas that you've actually applied it. The only time that I would actually start dragging the sponge is when I'm wanting to blend down onto the neck. So I want the majority of the product to remain on the face, but I want it to effortlessly blend into the neckline. I then press the foundation into the skin. Next is what I call a polishing technique using Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Wherever I can see any redness, I apply the product and then I polish it with a fluffy brush. So generally, the areas of the face that redness come out in is the forehead, the nose, the roses of the cheek, and the chin. I don't use the concealer all over the face because I don't want it to look mask-like, but I want to have a flawless finish to the skin. So you can see even just with the slightest amount of product which I've used on this side, the difference that it makes. I'm going to continue with highlighting, and then I'm going to go and conceal anything that Madison needs concealing on, and then I'm going to do slight contouring. I'm using NARS Multiple Copacabana, and I'm applying it with a damp sponge because I want to create a veil of light along her cheekbones, over on the eyelid, up onto the temple bone, do a little bit in the middle of the nose, and a slight amount just on the tip of the chin. I'm sort of using the back of my hand as a palette just to remove any excess so I'm not putting too much product. I'm going to go and spot conceal any blemishes or any irritation that Madison has on her skin with Clé de Peau's concealer. So using a really fine tip brush. I'm now going to go in and slightly sculpt underneath her already gorgeous cheekbones just with a light top, and I'm also going to softly contour around the eye to bring some definition back into the eye. I'm using the MAC Sculpting Powders. I'm going to use Sculpt. I generally like to use a contour in an upward sweeping motion. If you drag your brush down, instead of lifting the features up and out, you're actually bringing them back in. I just like to soften the edges, especially if I want something super natural. Contouring underneath the jaw. The area to do it is right underneath the bone. It's not actually on the neck. You want to create where that natural shadow is. It's right there and it's very soft. I'm going to use Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder underneath the eyes. This product's fantastic for underneath the eyes. It's very fine in texture, and it also has a reflecting property, so it bounces the light back, giving a very luminous and smooth feel to underneath the eyes. I just really want the powder where the hot spots are gonna be, because we've already sort of highlighted and given this gorgeous glow. We really just wanna leave that highlighted area and mat down the areas around it, so you really get this three-dimensional feel to the highlighting and contouring. Back to our matte sculpting powders. Now I'm going to slightly contour the eyes and just bring them out a little bit. So at this point here, if I wanted to put any eyeliner or colour on the eye, mascara, I would curl the lashes. But this is sort of a general place of where I'd start before I started introducing colour and different looks to the eye. So this is kind of our complexion perfection, I guess you could kind of call it. I'm just going to put a little bit more shine onto the cheekbones in the centre of the nose and the chin, just to give an extra highlight. And I'm going to put a little bit on the centre of the eye. My go-to product, Eyebrow Gel. I think it's a very underestimated product. I really love the lightness of Madison's eyelashes and eyebrows. This is a way more modern look for me. So now that we've got the perfect base, we're now going to go and warm up the skin tone. I'm going to use the Chanel Sultan. The key with this product is the layering. So you start off with a little bit and then you build the consistency of it where you want it to actually be 
on the face. When you get suntanned, the whole face doesn't get suntanned. It's the areas that protrude from the face. So it's your cheekbones. It's like the front of your forehead here. You get sun kissed on your eyes. It's your nose, it's your chin. So using bronzer, like all over the face, is going to make you look like an Oompa Loompa. The key is the subtleties of where you actually apply your bronzer. I'm now going to finish off our look with just a very simple, easy to wear eye and lip stain. I'm going to use MAC groundwork in the paint pots and I'm going to apply it to the lid of the eye. Softly going to blend it into that contour. I'm going to mascara using a curling mascara from Sisley. I'm using a black one here. I'm going to use a product on Madison, which is a multi-purpose product, which can be used on the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. So I'm going to use this rosewood colour. So I'm going to apply this with my fingers so it creates a stain of colour. So something which is quite translucent, but is adding a little colour to the face. And I want the majority of the pigment to be centred around that pupil's bow area. So it actually really brings the lips up and in and then feathering them off at the side so there's no hard edges. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or if I've missed anything else, please leave your comments below.